I've tried these. They smell really good, but I really feel like it doesn't do nothing to my hair. My hair still feels dry. I don't even think they have the honey one I get. It's only $3. Oh, it's right here. This is the shampoo and conditioner that actually I've seen a difference in my hair. And it looks more smooth and moisturized because a lot of them were drying me out. Oh my gosh, should I do a pump one? Our cart's already full and I literally just started. This smells so good. If you have curly hair, you need to try this. I don't have curls, but my girlfriend does. You know she used it once. I couldn't stop smelling her hair. <sighs> It's coconut and jojoba oil. Jojoba. Jojoba. <laughs> like, I don't want to. It, it smells really good. Really? Yeah. Let me smell it. It says for freezy hair, and I don't want to have freezy hair. Because I need to do a hair mask. It smells good. But it's vegan. Not sponsored. <laughs> Whenever I, I strain my hair and I want a really sleek look, I use this on the tip of my hair. I saw somewhere, one time I was doing my research on how to get healthier hair and a girl said that the sh shampoo and conditioners that she uses are always green that she trusts the ones that are green I feel like it has something to do with more natural products I know, I was wondering, it look, kind of reminds me of like rice water mask It says aloe and argan Oh But like I want to get stuff like this but I know they'd be having chemicals in it and I'm like it would just be better if I was just to buy like an aloe vera, that actual plant which is way cheaper and it's more organic don't clown on me but i actually saw somewhere that you need to wear a bonnet for all hair types i saw a lot of people backing it up one girl was getting clowned on for getting this but satin is actually very good for your hair i used to have a satin pillow but i don't anymore but my hair does get frizzy it's not that curly but it's like wavy curly and it holds a lot of frizz so I like a sleek look, so I'm gonna get this. Ooh, I like this oil, but I stopped using it. We already are stocked up on toothpaste, but we just get this one. I like this one, minty fresh. I wanna brighten up my teeth. I used to have very bright teeth and now I don't. I think it's cause I got into coffee. Native is trying to get money out of everything. They got toothpaste, deodorant, lotion, body wash. Shampoo, conditioner. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like this is not satisfying to me. If I was working here, I would line it up very nicely. Everything showing up front. Anyways, why is it so high up? I'm gonna get this one. I usually get the green one or the no yeah the green ones the dark green one but i have never tried this one i was watching all their hygiene videos and they all have this so this one says healthy gums this one says healthy smile this one says whitening that one's fresh. whitening yep and this this is for fresh breath yeah they have different benefits and different goals with every mouthwash it says it's sparkle mint flavor i like these because they don't be burning my mouth like any other mouthwashes do i can really keep them in my mouth for long periods of time I've never tried whining strips. I've always been scared to try them because I hear that they could peel the top of your teeth and make them weaker. But I'm gonna give it a try. My girl has been trying them and she has bright teeth. Wait, the lighting actually looks good. I'll get the cheapest one. I've seen some like on Amazon that are like a hundred dollars. It's a good investment. I saw someone that she used this. She's been using it for two years. And she hasn't had to replace it or nothing, you know? So she only paid like $40 just to be using it for two years. Well, anyways, I got her a bottom retainer because I used to have braces. And it's really hard. If you know, you know. But it's really hard to floss with a permanent retainer that's never going to get taken off. Sometimes the food could be getting stuck in there and it just be causing like plaque buildup. I'm trying to be more hygienic. It's about to be summer. You need to be hygienic. Well, you need to be hygienic all year round. <laughs> One day, I do want to try the native stuff. I want to try all new stuff. I feel like there's no difference in using vibrating toothbrushes. Because you got to replace it and every three months, there's really no point in getting expensive vibrating toothbrushes. I'll keep getting the 99 cent one that I get here at Target. They work just well. Tell me why I miss getting these though when I was a kid. Oh my gosh, the Flintstones just tastes so good to me. Like I want to be a kid just so I can have these. Again. I like Dove, but I also heard somewhere that 
Dove doesn't even clean, that it's basically just moisturizes you. So that's why I've been afraid of using the soaps, the body washes. But they do smell good. I love cocoa butter for everything. <sighs> It'd be coming out with so many different smells. They'd be so relaxing. Like cucumber, this just makes you so fresh. Ew. Wait, I didn't like that one. When it comes down to body washes, lotions, and stuff like that, I don't like fruits in my body. Wait, this one smells good. I like I do like plant ones. Oh, this one should be good. Here. Shea butter and vanilla. I love vanilla. Vanilla used to be my signature scent. It actually still is. <sighs> oh, it's good. If I'm getting a perfume, it has to be vanilla. No, I mean. We're making TikToks in Target. <laughs> I just feel like, what the fuck is this? Like licorice for body wash? Body wash? I don't know. I feel like that makes me feel dirty to me. It's not like real lemon. Something I do for my hair too, that my mom has taught me. I feel like this might be in the Mexican culture, but they be putting like lime in your hair. <clears throat> the yellow one, I think it is lime. And then you put it all over your head and then you shower it. I think it's if you have like migraines and headaches. Oh, I need a new loofah. I don't know, I kind of want to get rid of loofahs because I hear that they hold more bacteria. I don't know if it's worth it to get one, but I know that it's good for exfoliating. So it's only worth it to get one. But of course I'm gonna get one from the back this one i've heard good things about this one the one i have right now is the tree hot one everybody has been switching to this so i'm gonna try it it smells good it doesn't even look like it's an exfoliator it looks really smooth i don't know because i really like that exfoliating feeling that it's rough on my skin because i really feel like it's doing something so if i get something smooth oh wow they got different flavors this one's brown sugar and cocoa butter i love the smell of cocoa butter this don't even smell that good i feel like the tree hunt ones smell way better but i really want to try something new this one's the pomegranate one that's too sweet it's way too sweet you're gonna get those oh nice healthy i want to get the water ones those make me bleed the green ones that's because you don't floss yeah <laughs> Like, uh, should I try it? I feel like a mango flavored on your body is weird. Like, I don't want to smell like a fruit. I might get it. Really? You're getting this? No. Oh, I was like, why is this in here? I was supposed to be playing with it, but somebody has me push in the car. <laughs> Sorry. Princess treatment only. <laughs> This is the one that we use and it's really smooth on the skin. It's not too harsh. I really recommend, me and my girl got one. She has this one and I got this color. It has aloe and shea butter in it. It's, oh, shea. I'd be pronouncing things wrong, sorry. Don't mind that, but you guys know what I mean. These are so rough. I don't like these. These actually be cutting me all the time. I feel like the only one that I trust now is definitely this one, Flamingo. Do you even use shaving cream? No. I don't no. even use, I feel like there's really no point in it. I kind of want you to just like use it to Oh, wow. <laughs> She's cheap. It's only $3. <laughs> I used to use this all the time to shave my legs and to shave down there. But since it has a fragrance, I stopped doing that. Actually, I would get this one. Now I have the lotion and I didn't even know that they had a lotion. For deodorant, my favorite one is this one. This one smells so good and it's not even that expensive. Let's see. But I'm not gonna get it because I already have some at home. I have like two, I like to be stocked on that. Oh my gosh, why is this called Schmidt? If you see New Girl, you know. These are hella expensive. I would never pay that much for deodorant. I only use makeup remover wipes. I never use these. I feel like it's just a waste of money. I like makeup remover wipes because I'd be lazy. This is cute. I, I thought it was gonna be like cotton candy flavored. Wait, I don't know. It has a manly smell to it. Oh, what is that? It doesn't have manly yeah. smell. Yeah. It's not really? fruity, but it's not good. It's oh. not fresh. I feel like it doesn't smell that fruity. I don't like the watermelon one. I've smelled the watermelon one. It's not that good. I don't like this one. Look, smell it. Oh my really? I feel it like I'm like so picky. Oh, uh, do you want to be smelling like hand soap? <laughs> I've heard good things about this one. Have you heard of this, babe? I've heard only bad things. Oh, okay. What have you heard about him? Oh, it's bad for your pH balance. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna get him. Good well, thing I did it. 
and the pads Whoa. so let's not get that because apparently my girlfriend has heard bad things about it honestly all these things are bad for your ph balance you should only use unscented stuff anything summer's eve i've heard is bad i don't trust any of summer's eve stuff the pads i used to get these a lot but they have a lot of fragrance and i know that that's bad for down there so i don't use those i think i use this but it's fragrance free of course i think it's this one i'm not sure if it's that one but i know that it's really gentle on your skin but next time i'm on it i want to get this because i just feel like this is so comfy for you overnight you don't gotta worry about no spills or nothing i'm really getting this next time i'm on it our cart is so full how much do you think this is oh you're right 200 huh because i really forgot that i'm buying the blankets and the pillows and stuff Ooh, i kind of wanted like a face mask and only a dollar this is an avocado clay mask this is really why i'm here i've been wanting i've been dying to try these i think i'm gonna get this one though because i've never tried it before might as well get the small one first i want to get the unscented one the baby one i got eczema and dry skin and i hear you have to dilate it so i'm gonna try to figure out how to do that <gasps> wait i also wanted like the miracle patches this isn't the one that we usually get though huh oh because i got i got a zit I don't know, I wanted to do like the bar soaps. I'd do the unscented one for sure if I was to do it. But like essential oils. How much? $11. Yeah. Oh, I know it. We're trying to be bougie on a budget. <laughs> I'm just like, what are they hiding? Because they don't have prices. Dang, for this little thing, $12. That brand must be exactly. I heard you can even wash dishes with this. Like, what? I used to use this one before I switched to the EOS. This one too, but I don't like flowery scents no more. Just shea butter. <laughs> oh, my dumbass literally left my purse. Oh my gosh, thank you. We literally had to run back. Like, I am so glad nobody stole it. I'm okay, I'm safe. I learned my lesson. Don't ever put your purse down just to do a TikTok dance in public. I'm out of breath, but you're right. I'm gonna blame her because she made me do a TikTok dance. So that's why I had to put it down. That's why it's her fault. I'm just kidding. I'm gotta be careful. Don't mind that the bed is so low. Today, me and my girlfriend are gonna finally set up this room. But I have all of my Target finds right here. This bag is so huge and heavy. And I'm gonna do a little mini haul. I'm gonna be trying this out. My hair isn't curly. I know this is meant for curly hair mainly. My hair is more like a wavy, but it does get really frizzy. I have my natural hair right now. Thankfully, it's not that frizzy. I think it's just because I have it up. But once I have it down, it'd be looking crazy. People dead ass be asking me if I brush my hair when I have my natural natural hair sometimes so i'm gonna give it a try and see if it makes any difference within my hair for my shampoo i'm gonna be using the whole blends honey treasures repairing shampoo ever since i switched to this my hair has been just looking way more healthier i really like this brand and what i like about it is that it's really cheap a lot of these shampoos and conditioners be like eight to ten dollars this is usually three dollars the ones that i get which is smaller but since i'm getting the bigger one it's six dollars the conditioner the conditioners always ask me a while so i still have like about this much in my bathroom but i just went ahead and grabbed another one so i could already be stocked up on it and i wouldn't have to worry about it my girlfriend got these grin ones every time i look at hygiene videos i always see these in the videos and i've tried it i'm probably going to be using some too because you got to keep that tongue clean we don't want white tongues and then she got this one for her floss but i got this one it's the water pig water flosser last time i used these my gums were bleeding my girl says it's because i haven't flossed and like i understand that but my tooth literally felt so loose it was wiggling like if it was gonna fall out so i'm just not gonna risk it by using that I'm now switching to water flossers and gonna see how it goes especially since i have a permanent retainer stuff be getting in there and it's just really hard to floss with these my girlfriend says that she's tried this before and she really liked it she said it tickles and for mouthwash i'm gonna be using the thorough breath 
and it has no alcohol i love this so much because i can really keep it in my mouth for like three minutes i can keep it in for that long and it still won't burn you know like that burning sensation other mouthwashes give you it's just too much so i'm gonna be trying this one i love that brand so i'm pretty sure it's gonna be good next is whiten strips i've actually never used whitening strips you need to remove all of this harm that coffee has done because if you didn't know coffee stains your teeth the baby unscented pure castle soap this is dr bronner's soap this is the body wash oh it has a lid on it but i smelled the bars and it smelled so much like essential oils wait i'm like i really want to know what it smells like wait it smells like nothing Bro, I'm dumb. I feel dumb as fuck. I totally forgot that I got the unscented one. And then I got a pink loofah. Pink is my favorite color. I got the Dove exfoliating. I'm gonna give it a try since I've seen a lot of people use this in their hygiene videos. So these are all things that I got that I needed. But I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna be doing a hygiene routine. Uh, everything shower. I don't know if that's the name. I'll figure out the name. But basically a hygiene shower routine and stuff and i'm gonna be using all my new products so stay tuned for that if you're not subscribed go ahead and do that so that you can know when i make that video but other than that thank you for coming along and making it this far keep being gorgeous and keep being that girl